Hey. Hey guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday. We got our little bag ready. All so right. what are we gonna dip and pick out today? We shall see. Cheddar's Girls here with our Monday message. Rachel <gasps> and, Rebecca. and Rebecca. And she's about to pull out the Monday message of the day. Yeah, and I have a quick question. So did we put that last message back in this bag? I think so. Oh my god. Well, we are gonna movie. get this is exciting. So we've already went through. This is the boomerang theme, guys. The boomerang effect. Yes. And we have several different topics on the uh, boomerang effect. And this one is... The oh, dramatic you pause. For me? I'm yes, so that's sorry. what... <laughs> <sighs> This is um this is one of yours now. So this is okay. Galatians six and eight B. So to the spirit of the spirit reap everlasting life are the notations you have. Oh, I don't have my Bible with me. But I have a Bible. You guys. Oh. You talk. Okay. Like two seconds. It's okay. Right there. So Bible. to the spirit of the spirit reap everlasting life. I love that. Um, but I would like to see what it actually says, um, for Galatians six and eight. Um, but that is so true. When we talk about boomerang effect, whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. So if you sow to the spirit, you're going to reap the spirit. And when you reap the spirit, that's what it is. Everlasting life. So think about the way that you move from your day to day when we're asking God for something and when we're praying and we want certain things to to come back to us um like when people talk about karma we get whatever we put out so if we're doing that spirit work if we are hoping um to have everlasting life we have received salvation from Jesus Christ and that's what we want we want goodness oh. in our spirit Righteousness. What? My bookmark was in here. This is the. This is. This is. That's my, not even the Bible I use. My car Bible. Yeah. <laughs> you see, that's Cheddar's girls. We have car Bibles, study Bibles. We think we don't have a Bible. We always. Got oh, a Bible. You, we got Bibles. We have. So. Think about how many Bibles we literally have within three feet of us. Like literally, think about that. I we have a Bible. Oh yes, yeah, she just did inventory. I just did inventory. So it's yeah, quite a few. It is more than thirty. Yeah. So if y'all need a Bible, we usually say this at the end. And those are the If you need a Bible, we have one English is, English and Spanish. Um six, six and, eight part B. Six eight and part B. Yes. Okay, and that reads you wanna read the whole thing? Uh, might oh, as well. I'll read B. Okay, yeah. I'll read the whole thing and okay. then I'll read B again. Okay. okay. So this is Galatians six and eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Mm. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Life everlasting. Like, isn't that such a beautiful oh, thing? You sow what you reap. I can <coughs> definitely see why you put you that reap in what you for sow. boomerang. Yeah, boomerang. Definitely. Yes. Like, think about all the things that you are. We're not on this earth to spend our time, invest our time and our money on things. Wouldn't it be in the things that have everlasting life everlasting value we can't leave this earth with anything on this earth but we yeah. can leave an impression on others through our goodness through our kindness when we leave this earth we can go up and be with the lord our god everlasting right those are the things that i think is important in galatians it says so of the flesh and you reap corruption think about all the things that you have gotten into or have had to deal with that are simply because of fleshly lust, fleshly desires, nothing that has a, a lasting effect. Mm -hmm. All the things of the flesh are temporary and pass away. But the things of the spirit, the things that God has given us are of a more permanent nature. Think about the impression that someone leaves with you, that first impression. That never changes, it never goes away. But the first gift that somebody may have literally physically handed to you, do you still have it? And many of us may, but when we just think about the things of the flesh, the things of physical versus the things of spirit, wouldn't you rather reap of the spirit and well, sow of the spirit so you can reap everlasting life? That's that boomerang effect. You give what you, you give what you put out. You know, you get what you put out. It is that boomerang effect. I'm just so um, I'm so excited because this was definitely not a planned moment for us to do this Monday no. message right now. 
and the fact that this is the Bible, like this is this is the car Bible in the window. I guess I got to be more specific. Yeah. And that my little, what do you call these things? My little place. Your bookmarker, here, your little my, ribbon yeah, bookmarker, bookmarker, was literally in in this yeah scripture and this was not recent like this has this was some time ago mm -hmm. this was not recent and i can't even see because i don't have no notes on this page if that was even the verse that i was reading but it's just so beautiful how god just brings things back yes boomerang with the boomerang and um the one thing i do just want to add like we're talking about the things of the flesh that you put in but the just trying to get you to look so they can see you. Well, I'm reading. Oh, sorry. Um, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Everlasting has been a thing with me um, for, for quite some time over the last uh, few days or so. And so um, this isn't just like, oh, you do something good within the spirit and you and you're praying and you're in the spirit and you're going to the spirit you're going to jesus you're going to god like he is everlasting like this is why we say he is the same as yesterday today and forevermore because he does not change and there's not so many things that you can do um where you can put that connotation on those words that really stand and really hold and put themselves forth and when you are everlasting you can come back you do circle back around you do keep us like you keep us going and you keep us moving you keep us um um and like deep deep is it deep 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 <laughs> deep, deep, deep. <laughs> it's deep 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 like no but yeah <laughs> Um, no, but what you're saying, we're laughing and joking because yeah. there's there's a lot of tongue tie here and a lot of yes. tongue twisters. But yeah, it's deep. And um I mean this is it. You reap what you sow. I feel like that is what it that's is. That's what it is, you, you reap, reap what you, what you sow. sow. So be careful what you're what you are sowing into um yourself, your spirit, the people around you. Because it definitely comes back in ways that maybe may not even be aware of or conscious of. Um, but it does happen and it's a real thing. And you shouldn't be nice and kind to people just to reap something from that. Now that I love. So it's also the spirit of how you are Come on, sowing. That's it. And reaping. Because maybe you might have sowed it in a good heart. That's but it. But if you think you're going to start to you know, get the big head and do all of this in that reaping season... God can change that real fast too. That I love. That is exactly where my mind was just going. And I feel like where it yeah. was when I wrote this down is what is your motivation? Mm -hmm. What is the thing that motivates you to do something? Is it the fleshly desire or the spirit? We were just right. speaking of working with different people and the desire isn't to support them because we can get money out of it. The desire isn't to support them because there's something in it for us on the other side. Right. The desire to support them is simply is simply support, righteous. That's let it. Let them succeed. That's it. That's the goal. We don't support with um, ulterior motives or some end game in mind that if we support them, somehow this is going to work out in our benefit because of our relationship with them. No, it's simply right. you are who you are, whether you profess to be a child of God or not, we are. And so because right. we are, we see you and we see a way that we can support you and uplift a fellow brother or a fellow sister. And so that's what we're going to do. Right. And that is sowing in the spirit whether we're physically giving money to them whether we're physically promoting their business whether we're physically doing any of those things we're sowing of the spirit because what we're the whole motivation behind it is that you can feel and see the love of God through our actions yeah. that you don't see us in what we do but that you see the love you of God mm -hmm. there have been moments that we've been doing something for someone else not in the name of Cheddar's Girls or not in the name of Christianity but you're a person you're in need we have resources we can help you and that's just what we do mm -hmm. and in the end they turn and they look and they're like are y'all Christian are you Christian? Yeah. Are you? Yes. I hear uh, an angel. That was one of my Yeah, favorites. are you an angel? Lady. Um, yeah. When we were in this store one day, and I um, was like, oh, man, because this is stuff that I wish more people would do and just get out of themselves and their feelings and help people that are around that you see needing help. Right in your space. Um, 
they, like if you just look around because everybody needs help whether they say it or not when you mm -hmm. when your spirit and your mind and your heart is in the right space everyone around that you might have just thought was fine you take a second look and you get yourself together and you see no they can use this they can do that and sometimes it doesn't even take contact like i know we are in you know pandemic world right now and things but you don't need to when you get yourself in a in a certain place you can just look and see i don't have to touch them i don't even have to go up and say anything to them they just might need a word of prayer that's true you might just be able to feel and see what they're doing what their struggle might be that hey i can just i can just say a word of prayer and lift them up in god and sometimes people think that those things are not so important but they are very they're very important very there is power the there's power in prayer. prayer and there is power in prayer for others i mm -hmm. think we posted this online on our social media not too long ago um that praying for others is incredibly powerful um i think if you're watching this you may be familiar with the story of job and if you go i believe it's the 42nd chapter somewhere in the first couple of verses i'm sorry i don't have it right away but in in job believe it's chapter 42 you will see that his whole situation turned around mm -hmm. when he prayed it says it right there in that verse in the same verse he prayed for his he prayed for his friends and god turned it god turned his situation that is in that verse i don't know it verbatim but it's that's listed. praying for someone else it is listed in our um the thursday post that we just did last week so it is on there if um if you were to go to that if you're interested in finding out where she is coming from the specific verse is there um and that was our prayer boomerang effect thursday yeah message. i mean post. not only you reap what you sow creates a boomerang effect but prayer like she said that creates a boomerang effect mm -hmm. you get the results of that you should not act simply because there's going to be something that comes back to you that's not what this whole boomerang effect um theme is about it's just Ooh. letting you know that uh oh what got to move. oh my gosh okay y'all well, um, we love Bible you. Prayer request, Chet Chet is is girls. Girls. org. All right. Bye.